Friday, January 2019. <clears throat> I do shuffle <clears throat> all my cards before I even begin the video. And I also meditate on the sign that I'm reading for. Well, let's see what the beginning energies are. Strife. Trying to do with do away with strife in your life. It's in reverse. It's five of wands. But it's in reverse. It's putting away strife. And that is what is coming towards you mid-January. Or that you're wanting to put away strife. In the past, you were dealing with the Princess of Swords. The Princess of Swords could be an air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. It's the obstacle. No one's offering a cup of love or friendship right now. Someone may have had an argument, a disagreement. <clears throat> Current environment or the subject at hand. Coming out of disappointment with it. Trying to put things away. Depends on what the clarifying cards are going to be. But this is exactly going to mean. Because the Five of Cups can mean get coming out of disappointment. But if you have another negative card with it, depending on what it is, it could be that you're stuck in it. What is coming towards you, the outside environment, the Prince is a disc. Uh, these are, are reverse night. Like I said, I do shuffle these constantly. Prince is a, a disc can be a earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I'm going to keep the last one down because I don't want it to influence me on these other cards just yet. I want to clarify it with this deck, which I also pre-shuffle and meditate on your sign before I even go on here. But let's see. we got the Princess of Swords in reverse in the past. This could be an air energy or someone taking on this energy. You could be acting like this. It doesn't take much. But the Princess of Swords... Why are you there for Leo in the past? Someone has some really cutting words. That's also the air. It could be also, like I, you, you were dealing with, a couple of air signs. Yeah, but no one's walking away from this situation. It's not like you're, I don't see splitting up in the past totally. I just see people taking a break from each other, walking away from an argument. Could be dealing with two different air energies or someone just, like I said, a couple people taking on this energy. It's when words are really fast going and kind of abrupt. A little injustice was done, too, with the judgment card. Someone made the wrong decision or they're refusing to make a decision at all. But the Eight of Cups are not walking away. Someone's not walking away from the situation, not walking away from each other just yet in the past. Or they're just stuck in it. And remember, we had that Five of Wands in reverse. So someone's trying to come out of the arguments. But the energy is still there. The obstacle, no one's really given in to each other either. Because you got the Ace of Cups. It's in reverse. Why are you there? Ace of Cups for Leo in mid-January. Yeah, why? I'm thinking, yeah, no one's really working on trying to offer the olive branch with the eight of pentacles in the upright. This is the why it's in reverse. Ace of cups, no one's making the offer of work, working with something, working hard with something, you know, diligently. Can I get another card for the ace of cups and the eight of pentacles for Leo as the obstacle? Oops, wanted to come out. But they're thinking about it. Someone's thinking about it with the Seven of uh, Pentacles. This is before the works. I think someone's thinking about offering the Olive Branch, but no one's really given in just yet. But I feel like the energy is starting to pass a little bit there, at least with the current environment or the subject at hand. We we'll shall see. I need another card, right? Five of Cups in reverse. Why are you there for Leo? As a subject in hand or the current environment, five of cups in reverse, why are you there? Has to do with lovers, partnerships, family, too. It usually involves two people. And there are emotions involved with these two people. And like I said, it could be a partnership, a marriage, you know, friendships. Can I get another uh, card for the five of cups and the lovers?
Usually I associate that with the Two of Cups a lot, but the Lovers is more of a major arcana, which is means it's basically more or less very predominant in this reading. Like, it may very well happen. I see someone wanting to come at a disappointment with a Lovers or Couples. Page of Pentacles. And possibly offer a message of security, of sound communications where they're really serious and really mean it. And, all like, and for some of you, you could be dealing with an earth element or someone taking on an energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Now what is coming towards you or the outside environment? you got the princess of this, and this is the same energy. But I still see people aren't really talking right yet. They're not communicating. But I feel like they kind of want to come out of this yuck. But no one's making the first move just yet. They need to, possibly. Because I still see loving feelings there. You know, memories of when good times were there. Princes of Disc. In reverse. Why are you there as the outside environment? For Leo, mid-January. Ah. Has to do with contracts, marriages... Situations that were considered solid. Engagements. What's normal in society. <clears throat> the Hierophant is in reverse. So this could have to do with an ex. Someone from the past that had a broken contract with you. And like I said, it could be like a uh, earth element. <clears throat> Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But they don't have to be this sign. They just could be more like practical at times, but they're in reverse, so I'm thinking it could be someone that you had a relationship for some of you with, like a, like I said, a marriage, or like a partnership, some type of contract. Can I get another card for the Hierophant and the Princess of Dis, both in reverse? Yeah, the Ten of, ten of Coin, Pentacles, Disc, whatever you want to call them. That's what they are. This is like stability, finally getting what you're wanting. Maybe this person might cost you some money or they may have finances that are pretty good or it involves your relationship has a big financial stance right now. That's to do with the wealth you always wanted. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice keeps on going. The, the wealth you always wanted. The stability. For some of you, it will maybe cost you, like I said. For others, you may be getting something out of this. All I know is that wealth has surrounded the situation with this person. Or it's the outside environment that is causing all this. Outcome... Seven of Wands in the Upright, Valor. Keeping things on top of things. Winning. Taking control. Seven of Wands, why are you there for Leo? I know they were taking control in the last reading, I think. But I know they were getting some shine back in their life. But you're going to be still dealing with, like I said, partnerships. Broken partnerships from the past. Still going currently. Disappointments are leaving. And Leo is getting on top of things. And surviving pretty well. Seven of Wands. Why are you there? In the upright for Leo. Mid-January as the final outcome. Doing uh, Get on top of things and going for a new beginning. Taking off in a new enterprise possibly. Um, new anything. Because the full card is in the upright. And I love the full card in the upright. The only danger with the full card is that you don't always look before you leap, you know? <clears throat> but it is a new beginning. This is You're really going for something in the near future. Because that's a wands energy and the fool's card energy. Yep, and you're moving on from troubled waters. Leo, getting on top of things, going for new situations, jumping into something new, something exciting, 
something positive, and moving on from hardships. Now, I'm not saying some of you are, will be absolutely getting divorced because I don't see no death card here, which is endings and things. But I do see like the Ten of Pentacles, but that ending is good. That means financial security. But I do not, like I said, I do not see 100% gone for good, even though it may very well be someone you have split with. They're still going to be pot somewhat in your life, but you yourself are moving to better things, maybe a career, maybe just a new outlook in life, and you're going to be feeling a lot better. Outside energy, you're going to be a little tired. It's not going to, you're not going to get a lot of rest doing this because the strength is going to be in reverse. You're going to feel tired and your energy be zapped, but you're going to keep on going and doing what you're going to do. I think whatever you're going to do is going to take a lot, like I said, a lot of your energy and time. So you may be trying to get some rest while you do this, okay? Try not to overwork because uh, from what I take from Leo's, that when they do something, they go all out. And sometimes they can exhaust themselves. So when you're doing this, remember to take care of your health and get some rest and enjoy life at the same time while you're going for all this, okay? And this is your reading, Leo. It's a good reading. I'm going to push this up. I don't know why it's slanted. I did not even look at that. I got to check check that. But this is your reading, and it's a good reading. I'll fix that later. But I'll talk to you later, Leo. Bye.